In February 2022, I got an opportunity to visit Avignon, a city in southeastern France's Provence region. It's set right on the banks of Rhone River. The specialty of this place is from 1309 to 1377. It was the seat of the Catholic popes. It remained under the papal rule until becoming a part of France in 1791. And this legacy can be seen in the massive Palais des Papes or Pope's Palace in the city center. The whole city is surrounded by medieval stone ramparts. So let's visit Avignon together. Thanks for watching. So we just climbed up the set of stairs and the view from here is so beautiful. Again a lot of wind but So we came all the way from here to the road. One of the best parts of this trip was the street that we stayed on and the Centreville itself. You can see it's full of flowers, decorations everywhere, chic boutiques, and just colors, colors, colors. We were staying on the Rue des Tenturières, which is a street of the water wheels. It gets its name from the intense textile industry that flourished here between 14th and 19th centuries. It could even be said that this street and this quarter alone in themselves embody nearly the whole history of commonplace life in Avignon. There are so many churches and chapels everywhere. Literally every corner has some religious building, which makes the city very peaceful. And I had this feeling of being protected by all this energy that surrounds these walls. 
One of our favorite things to do always is to visit the local markets. We got some stuff for later and then I got the cannoli to eat right away. As you can see, I'm really overwhelmed in this video. So this is our Airbnb. Oh my god. So pretty. Let's turn on the light. That's the kitchen. Hi. I think it's like a loft, right? Wow. So after a long day, we finally came back home. As you can see, the whole day, even at night, was very windy. So I just wanted to chill a little bit. So I went to the bar downstairs, had a beer. Max was super tired, so he went to sleep. So I was by myself for a while, very vibrant bar. And here is a bonus clip at the end of the flower street that we saw earlier. I just couldn't help myself but film all of this beauty because they were so fresh and so vibrant and colorful and just wow. So for my own memories, I decided to keep this at the end. So stay tuned for the part two of the video coming soon. Ciao.